When you think of the word dreams, what do you think about? You know, what's your aspirations? Where do you want to be? Um, all of that sort of stuff. Um, I would say just, just freestyle it all out. And don't put too much judgment on it because... Like, uh, I heard Ed Sheeran say this once, like, you know, at first you write crap songs. Like, when you, basically, when you rinse a tap, when you put a tap on, all the crap has to come out first and then you start getting to the good stuff. So the point is, just brainstorm whatever comes to mind when you think of dreams, and then you can start to refine and make it more poetical and start using devices like metaphors and similes and alliteration, X, Y, Z, but just, just get it out of you first and then you can start to um, craft your sculpture um, hope that makes sense but yeah I would say freestyle let it out and then refine 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 until you're happy ideas can come from everywhere but generally it's easier if the idea comes from a loving aspirational place which I think in the context of dreams should hopefully come quite easy to you I develop my ideas from as I said I freestyle I brainstorm I put no judgment on what I'm writing because what I write might be rubbish at first but then I start to refine the idea and and develop it by knowing some of these techniques metaphors similes but I think you get to a point where it needs to feel conversational and automatic you don't want to you want to do devices that feel right to you it's a balance between, you know, the science of writing slash the emotion. And you can only know that within yourself. And essentially, as long as it's authentic to you and you don't, you don't um, make it so scientific, you, you lose the feeling of what you want to say, then I think you're doing the job. So that's how I developed the idea. I hope that's concise enough. From not placing judgment on myself, on how I write, um, from freestyling, even though in a typical hip hop sense, I don't like get, get a beat and then every single word's articulate and, and right in the pocket. No, freestyling to me is scatting, it's having a melody, it's, it's just saying whatever gibberish comes to mind. And because a lot of writer's block has to do with your expectations of what you're supposed to be writing. You're comparing yourself to very seasoned, uh, professionals or you're comparing yourself to your old self and you might have wrote the best thing ever but if you're just like look I'm 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 fresh to this I'm trying to take a new approach I'm not even don't think too hard basically don't place judgment just write whatever comes to mind and as I said you can refine from there and I think as long as you come from that place where you you're not judging yourself you won't necessarily get right as block my dreams as a child my dreams as a child was I love to fly, um, like Peter Pan. Um, I loved music. You know, I was inspired by, you know, Eminem, 50 Cent, Tupac, Nas, and I guess I used to rap similar to them when I was younger, and I didn't really have my own voice, but then I got to a point where I was like, hey, let me speak about my experience in care, because if hip hop's really the voice of the voiceless, I need to come from this perspective. And it was therapeutic, but it was also a blessing to, to talk from my experience because it's got me into the position now where I'm lucky enough to judge some of you guys, your poems, and, and do music on a bigger level um, that I aspired from as a child. To my younger self, I used to create when I was inspired which was very sporadic, whereas now I'm more consistent and I place less judgment on what I write. I would say when I actually had the courage to, to tell my story, um, it felt amazing that it connected to young people from all over the UK um, that lived similar experiences and it, it motivated me more to be more confident and, and to really know it's powerful using your voice to tell your message because as much as you may think that you're going through it alone, you start to realize that no, um, you're not alone in this. And just from knowing that you're not alone, um, 
it encourages you and makes you it makes you value yourself more. I feel with this competition, just you sharing your feelings with like-minded young people that have lived similar experiences to you, I hope that it, it inspires you to know that you're not alone and we've all felt that you felt and encourage you to push on with your voice and really say how it is. Um, and you know, I believe in law of attraction. So for you guys actually homing into talking about your dreams and you really say it with passion, with passion and action, them dreams will actually come true. It might take a while, so you gotta be patient, but I believe that definitely, if you believe you'll succeed,